Pastel Flowers Nail Art Tutorial by Hot Pink Zebra Polish. Begin by painting all of your nails one coat of white polish. On a cosmetic sponge, we're going to be sponging on pastel purple, green, blue, and pink polish. And I'm just going to do this in sort of random areas, but you want to cover approximately a fourth of your nail with each color. And then add a layer of sheer gold polish. This is just going to give it a gold shimmer. With a cotton bud dipped in polish remover, we're going to go around our nail and clean up anywhere where the sponging of those um, colored polishes may have gotten on your skin. So now on your pointer, middle, and pinky nail with a thin black line, I'm going to be outlining all of the nails. And sometimes when you outline your nails, you outline the tip as well. I decided for this time I'm not, I'm not going to. When you outline around just the edges of your nails, not the tip itself, it's going to make your nail look thinner and longer. And if you outline that tip as well, it's going to box your nail in and not give it that elongated effect. And sometimes that's a good thing, but for this particular instance, I want them to look as long as possible. On your ring and thumbnail, I'm going to be painting a flower pattern. And so I'm going to start with a little circle. This is going to be for the center of the flower. And then add six lines coming out. Just little tiny lines, almost like a miniature sun. And then you can continue up those six little lines and you'll have your petals perfectly spaced. So then as you're painting them up, um, I like to always pull the paint back towards me, back towards my hand. So on the ones that are away from my hand, you're going to want to start in the middle and pull back towards you. So always pull towards yourself when you're pulling paint and you want the lines to be thin. So now that you have the first flower, pick another spot, add another little circle, add your six little lines, and add the petals. And if your flower runs off the side of your nail, that's fine. They don't all need to be whole. Or if it happens to run into another flower you've already painted, that's not really a problem either. Partial flowers in any sort are actually, will add to your look. And as you're doing this, um, you're going to want to have at least three, I think, of the center of the flowers. Because later we're going to be adding a little stud in there. And if you only have this one center of your flower, the rest of them are just off, um, then you're only going to have one stud. And if you have a couple on there, it looks a little better. And if you have extra space where you can't really fit much of a flower, just add little loops for petal shapes. So then on every whole center, you're going to want to add a little gold stud. And of course, add a layer of top coat. And you're going to really want to make sure you top coat all the way to the edges of your nails. Since I used acrylic paint to outline my nails, if you don't get all of that covered up, it could wash off when you wash your hands with soap and water. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you like my design. Please share any recreations with me on Facebook and Twitter. I really love to see them, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!